we're gonna make a vegetable sandwich today that tastes like super good. The first component is gonna be roasted red pepper. Okay, and to roast these, I'm just gonna broil them until the skins get blackened, and then I can just remove the skin and the inside flesh of the red pepper will be fully cooked and really nice. Olive oil, and then skin side up because these are going to get broiled. And I'm going to keep a close eye on this. Okay. And then we're going to do some sauteed broccoli as well. I'm going to saute all of this broccoli, but I'm probably not going to use all of it in the sandwich. I'll have some left over just to eat on its own. Okay, and this pan's heating up on medium. I'm gonna go in with a good amount of olive oil. And then our broccoli. Okay, so our broccoli is gonna saute. Here's some salt. We want every component of this sandwich to be well seasoned. All right, so our broccoli's going, our red peppers haven't started to blister yet, they're still in the oven. The next component is gonna be these portobellas that I'm going to, I'm gonna slice and then sear them off in cast iron, just as slices to put in the sandwich. So after the broccoli comes off, I'm going to move this pan, this cast iron pan over here and then sear these. I'm just going to put them in a container with the lid on so that they steam and the skins release. Okay, so these will steam. Okay, so this cast iron pan is hot now. Put some olive oil in and then our mushrooms. I'm gonna let these go decently long on the first side and then flip. Okay, so I move, removed the broccoli from this pan and just put it behind me so I could cut it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna flip these mushrooms and then finish these other mushrooms in this pan just to make it go a little bit quicker. I'm gonna do a little bit more oil. Okay, these mushrooms are looking really good. While that's finishing up, I'm going to take this uh, hero roll. I got this from the fresh market. It's a really nice looking roll. Um, I'm going to bake it in the oven just as a whole. I'm not going to toast the inside or anything. I want the inside to still be soft. I'm going to take the skins off of our roasted red peppers. Alright, I'm going to take all the, these skins off and then dice them up. I cut the roasted red peppers into strips. Our bread is nicely baked now. Okay, I think we have everything ready, so let's make this sandwich. I'm actually going to cut these ends off. I'll use the ends to dip into hummus later. All right, serrated knife. On the bottom, I'm going to put some hummus. I actually made this without a blender, which I know sounds weird, but like I can put up an upcoming video of how I made this. Uh, it's pretty interesting making it without a blender, but it's actually smooth. It's not chunky. Um, it's not super creamy, but I kind of like it, this texture. So homemade hummus. And then a good portion of these mushrooms, which I really like how these cook down. This is exactly how I want the, one of these mushrooms to look, you know, like really darkly colored. Okay, some roasted red pepper. A little bit of broccoli, which I cut down to make into more manageable sized pieces. 
This is gonna be a very loaded sandwich. Okay, and these are pickled onions and carrots. I've made pickled onions before. I can link you how I made these. Right. Semi-homemade ranch on the top. Okay, I was thinking about cutting this, but maybe not. Maybe I won't. Okay, here we go. Let's try this out. Okay, that's fantastic. Wow, the ranch is great. I love the peppers. The mushrooms and broccoli do their part, you know, they're like the, the main filling of this. I'm not getting much of the hummus, maybe I should put more, but overall this is like fantastic. I'm gonna really enjoy eating this.